This is emag2411 on youtube.com. Make sure to like this video, subscribe with Major Backstage WWE News on WrestleMania 31. John Cena and Rusev, NX, and the NXT match at WrestleMania 31 as well. All that in one episode. Okay. So according to DWN and their premium newsletter section, go check them out right now. Go check everything they got right now. Uh, so there have been rumors of an NXT ladder match at WrestleMania 31, but with the WWE confirming that the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal this week uh, and announcing the Intercontinental Championship ladder match, the NXT ladder match obviously won't be happening. Uh, NXT's involvement at WrestleMania was said to be a wait and see situation at last word. It is possible that some NXT series get put into the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And also, John Cena vs. Uh, WWE United States Champion Rusev is considered a lock for WrestleMania 31 after this week's draw. However, a gimmick or stipulation to that match should be announced soon. Okay, so um, I would like to see NXT in uh, WrestleMania this year because you know they've been putting out great shows on NXT, their live special event for two hours on the WNR. You, go, you should really go check that out. Honestly, it, it, it's honestly so awesome. But um, Really, so I would like to see maybe like a or like an NXT championship match, or even have the like maybe even have them on the free show or something. I mean, just to have them there in a match, I would like to see. Um, I mean, I like to see maybe uh, an NXT women's title match, NXT title match, a tag team title match. I mean, I think all I mean, we can have some pretty good matches in NXT if they, if they are there, uh, like Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville, Finn Balor, Hideo Itami, other stars in NXT that are there. Even the Divas, you know, uh, the tag team division, maybe. We'll see what happens, but we're going to have a second uh, annual Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale, so they had a last year Cesaro won, and he went nowhere after that, really. But uh, he's with Paul Heyman, we all know that, but that's not the time to talk about it. It's focusing on this report. Okay, um, yeah, we're going to have an uh, Intercontinental Championship ladder match. Uh, that is where defending they're saying multiple guys are going to be in it. I'm looking at six guys, probably, like... Or maybe five, because I'm only going to look at, uh, I already, I, I, I broke the news to you, uh, when it did, when it was announced at about 7 o'clock on Thursday, so I already told you about that, but, um, I mean, I, I think I already gave my predictions, so I'm just saying it again. If you're watching me for the very first time, you you know what I, well, yes, you don't know what I do. I cover all, I cover everything about WWE. I'm even going to start covering UFC and boxing and some NBA basketball news and NFL football. Oh, I actually did break the news when Derek Rose, uh, it was announced that he got injured and stuff. Uh, I actually almost got a thousand views on it. It's like 900 or something. But uh, yeah, if you want all that, just subscribe right now. Um, but how was I saying? Damn, I fucking lost it. Oh yeah, I think the guys that are going to be in there, kind of title ladder match, are going to be well. Corey Ben is very defending it. That's one guy. So we're going to have my predictions are going to be Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, R Truth, and Dean Ambrose. I think those are the guys. But you know, even Heath Slater actually had on. It was rumored that uh, it was going to be uh, Fatal Four Way at first with our truth. Uh, I actually forgot who was actually in it, but I just know it was going to be a Fatal Four Way. That was the plan, but I guess they changed plans for the ladder match. But maybe he later even gets a shot. That's what he said. He he actually said on Twitter he just wants a shot because he's not really doing anything right now. Uh, you know, he later being in that is kind of a joke, but you know why not just give him a shot? In my opinion. But NXT should be involved in WrestleMania this year in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I do. I think they should bring back the Money in the Bank though. Ladder match, you know, for the cash in, but they have their own paper for that. Or even actually have uh, something like this. Honestly, have like maybe a um, have um, like a contract, like to go to WWE, to go to the main roster. Up, up, uh, you know, like the Money in the Bank ladder match with ladders, they have to get the contract to go to WWE. Maybe we have like a six. I was thinking like something like that. That'd be pretty cool, in my opinion. But to have something like that with the contract. Like, kind of, not exactly like a money thing, but just having it up there. And if you get it, whoever wins goes to the WWE. Like, I'm not actually main roster. Like, they leave NXT. Um, and maybe you can even have a Divas, like, like something like that. Not a ladder match, but... Because I'm like that also with the Divas. Or have it. Well, mix. Yeah. No, you're not, you know, it's not like that anymore. You can hit girls, but... Um, just have something like that. Or have, you know, Fatal 4-Way NXT title match. Or even maybe put them some in the Battle Royal. But I do like having the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I think they should have a Ultimate Warrior actually, uh, Memorial Battle Royal. But um, 
because there's like 31, 30 guys or something like that, 31 that, I think 31 last year, because it gives guys that are not going to be in WrestleMania actually a spot in it. But they can't fit everyone, of course, in it. Oh, okay, yeah, it's kind of going too long, but, um, hey, got, got unlimited time. Um, so, okay, now let me cover this last thing. So, John Cena challenging Rusev in a rematch for the WWE United States Championship. Um, I, I kind of thought, I already knew most likely that it was going to have a rematch. Um, but now, gimmick or stipulation they're saying for the match should be announced soon, so I'm wondering what that is. They did have a pretty good match, in my opinion, at Fastlane. Pretty good. Rusev is still undefeated and still the United States Champion. Um, but now I'm wondering, maybe we can have a last man standing, an I quit match. Um, um, maybe, uh, how am I Yeah, I quit, last man standing. That'd be pretty cool to see. Something like that. With like a good stipulation like that. To be honest, um, because but 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 then people are gonna go like this. If it's an if it's an un, uh well actually, think about it. You know, if you do if you do the uh, last even if you do the last man standing or I quit match, uh, or one of those. Um, if you do if you do do that, uh, then um, you, and like let's say John Cena does win. Because it's such that he is going to win the United States sometime this year. But, um, if you do do that, Rusev is still not, he, he still won't even be pinned or made or tapped out. So when you think about it, it kind of saves Rusev that, like that. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind that. So... I wouldn't, I mean, a normal match wouldn't be bad either, but I, I, I do kind of like the gimmick or stipulation match, or even a, a retirement match, not a retirement match, but like, uh, if Jonathan loses, then he has to, you know, retire. So, um, you know, should Jonathan be the one to, um, end the streak, or, you know, make be the first one to beat him? I I think it would make sense when you think about it because John Cena is the greatest of this generation. Um, my opinion, and him and Randy Orton are both best. You know, career versus streak match. Think about it. John Cena's career over reach of streak on the title. So let's just see what happens. Sometimes it's already been only eight minutes. Wow, it's way longer than that. But um, okay, so I think I basically I'm just you know wrestling commentator for WWE on YouTube. Um, so I think I've said everything I needed to say. I've actually said a lot of things. So, yeah, it's going to be it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you uh, for viewing, for watching, for the support. All the comments, all the all the messages, the shares, the, subscri the subscriptions, the subscribers, all that. I'm trying to get uh, 200 subscribers by um, WrestleMania, which is about 20, which is 29 days 20, 29 days away, or even by uh, my birthday, which is April 2nd, you know, that's only three more days or four more days thing after that, so let's see what happens, let's try to get it, I just say 27 more, I got, I'm at 173, so, let's go, and then I got 41,000, uh, over 41,000 YouTube views, let's see what happens, so thanks for everything, and yeah, like the video, please, uh, share this video all over, you know, the entire internet, Facebook, Twitter, tell everyone, you know, you know, I don't know, just, you know, do me a favor and do all that for me, please, uh, thanks, and comment with your thoughts and your opinions, what you think about this, what do you think is going to be the simulation or gimmick match for John Cena and Rusev, what do you think it should be, who should uh, be in the Irish Giant Memorial Battle Royal, who should win, and should NXT, or what type of NXT match should be at WrestleMania, or should NXT not be involved, what's your opinions, your comments, your thoughts. Subscribe.